Shocking showdown, Claire's heroic rescue unleashes chaos. Nikki's life hangs in the balance as Jordan's deadly plot unfolds. Must-see drama unfolds in jaw-dropping confrontation. The young and the restless faces unprecedented danger, will Claire save the day? Plus, a Christmas miracle for Nikki? Unexpected reunion with Deacon Sparks explosive drama. Former flames collide in a night of shocking revelations. Can Nikki stop a love rekindled? Brace yourself for the unpredictable twists ahead. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. After watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Claire rescues Nikki, Jordan arrested after deadly face-off. The Young and the Restless Spoilers recap for Tuesday, December 26, reveals that Victoria Newman and Nick Newman will worry about Nikki Newman since Victor Newman will admit she hasn't been seen since last night at the GCAC. Nick and Victoria will assume Jordan abducted Nikki, but Victor will seem less certain and mention that Nikki might be drinking again. After Victor updates Victoria and Nick on Nate Hastings' claims, he'll point out that Nikki saw them talking and ran out looking guilty. Victor will also sniff the vodka bottle at the ranch and realize it's mostly water. Cole Howard will eventually arrive and learn that Nikki's missing like Claire Grace, but he'll reassure Victoria about finding them both. Once Victoria sees that Nikki left her purse behind, she'll find her mom's flask and an address that's been written down. Cole will recognize that address as a cabin that his mother took him to as a kid. There'll be concerns about Nikki being lured into a trap, so Nick will call the cops before driving to the cabin with Victor. In the meantime, Victoria will stay with Cole at the ranch in case the lead doesn't pan out. Cole will consider the possibility that Claire is in on Jordan's plan, but Victoria will trust that Claire's on their side now. At the rundown cabin, Nikki will stagger in and call out to Jordan, who'll appear with a gun pointed at her enemy. Jordan will mock Nikki's drunkenness and confirm that Nikki came there alone. Nikki will assure Jordan that she ditched her vehicle and got in the car Jordan hired to get there, just like Jordan asked. Jordan will be surprised that Nikki would do anything for Claire, but Nikki will allude to what Claire means to Victoria and argue that she'd do anything for her children. Even die for them? Are you willing to do that? Jordan will ask. After Nikki admits she could use a drink, Jordan will insist she came prepared and will hand over a vodka bottle. Jordan will promise there's no poison and hint about having a far worse demise in mind for Nikki. Once Nikki guzzles some booze, she'll push Jordan to reveal where Claire is. Jordan will start rambling about loyalty and how she expects Claire to rise the challenge once again. Next on Tuesday's Y&R episode, Jordan will will unconscious Claire out of the back room. Claire will ask what Jordan did to her, but Jordan will insist Claire's just sedated. When Claire starts to stir, Nikki will bash distracted Jordan over the head with the vodka bottle. While Jordan's down on the floor, Nikki will try to get Claire alert and on her feet. Claire will still be too unsteady at that point, so Jordan will have a chance to get up and fight back. There'll be a physical confrontation between Jordan and Nikki, who'll end up on the floor in a chokehold until she whacks Jordan in the head with something again. Jordan will wrestle Nikki over to the wall and grab her by the neck once more, but Claire will pick up Jordan's gun and push her to let Nikki go. Once Jordan releases Nikki, she'll trash the Newmans and act like they'd leave Claire in a padded room indefinitely if they had their way. Claire will argue that she would have been loved if Jordan hadn't taken her, but Jordan will keep trying to twist things around and make the Newman family seem terrible. As the police sirens approach, Jordan will act like it's proof that Nikki tricked and trapped them. Nikki will make it clear that she came to help Claire, who'll continue pointing the gun at Jordan. Nikki will insist Jordan belongs in prison, but Claire will insist prison is too good for her. Besides, Claire will assume Jordan would just plead insanity and get sent to a psychiatric facility that she could escape from. 
With angry tears in her eyes, Claire will tell Nikki that they can't let Jordan hurt anyone else. Jordan will push Claire to put the gun down so they can run away together, but she'll shift her strategy when Claire stands her ground. After Jordan invites Claire to pull the trigger, she'll taunt Claire for not having the courage. Jordan will suggest Claire's weak, just like she was when she helped the Newmans escape the lake house. Suddenly, Nikki will barrel into Jordan and fling her toward the nearby wall. Once Jordan is knocked out, Nikki will get Claire to hand her the gun. Claire will break down sobbing in Nikki's arms since she'll be so overwhelmed. Soon after, the police will arrest Jordan, who'll tell Claire that she broke her heart. Claire will fire back that Jordan broke her whole life and will watch her great-aunt get led away in handcuffs. After Nikki gives Claire some water to flush the sedative out of her system, Victor and Nick will show up. Nikki will hug Victor and promise to explain everything, but she'll just be ready to go home for now. When Nick asks if Claire's coming with them, Nikki will insist she most certainly is since Claire saved her life. Victor will decide they owe Claire a debt of gratitude for that. Once Claire asks what's going to happen to Jordan, Nikki will promise that they'll never let her hurt Claire ever again. As Claire cries, she'll tell Nikki, Victor and Nick that she's so sorry for everything. Nikki will take Claire's hand and stroke her hair to comfort her. The young and the restless spoilers say Claire will need more support as she continues her recovery, so stay tuned for more news on what's in store. Today's next update. Young and Restless slash Bold and Beautiful crossover may be just the Christmas miracle Nikki needs, and Deacon never saw coming. If the Young and the Restless Nikki hasn't hit rock bottom yet, she certainly seems like she's about to. Poor thing isn't just sneaking sips of vodka when no one's looking, she's guzzling straight from the bottle. But once the threat that Jordan poses is finally neutralized, she may be in line for a Christmas miracle or at least a New Year's one. Out with the old, in with the new. Imagine that Nikki got a new AA sponsor, a kind and understanding woman who knew all too well how hard it could be to fight the urge to drink. They become friends, such good friends that Nikki brings her along on a business trip to L.A. Nikki feels like she's really turned a corner and gained a confidant in the process. As for her sponsor, she explains that her past is a blur. Back when she lived in L.A., or so she was told, she was involved in a terrible accident. When she awakened from a coma, a family friend whisked her out of town to recuperate. Once she was back on her feet, she was hired to work in admissions at Genoa City Memorial. But what happened is history, she says. I'm more interested in the future. A night to remember. To celebrate their bond, the ladies decide to hit karaoke night at Daisy's. As coincidence would have it, that same evening, Deacon is there singing Madonna's of Crazy For You to his twisted lady love, Sheila. Nikki's jaw drops at the sight of her loathed ex, and drops again when she sees the woman to whom he's crooning. Before she can call Lauren to warn her, she gets yet another jolt. Deacon stops mid-song as if he's seen a ghost, which, in a way, he has. Nikki's companion is confused. Deacon is staring at her like he knows her, and he does. Macy, he gasps. Yup, Deacon's wife didn't die as everyone believed, she ultimately awakened and was shipped away to start a new life by family friend, actually mom, Sally Spectra. It was the only way to keep her from being hurt anymore by Brooke and the Foresters, Sally figured. What happens next? Suddenly, Deacon's life is turned altogether upside down. He loves his fiancée but never fell out of love with Macy. As for her, she's completely blindsided by the revelation of her true identity, and this handsome stranger with the extremely perturbed and scary date glaring at her. Would Nikki try to keep Macy from making a mistake by falling for Deacon again? Would Nikki do the unthinkable and team up with Sheila to keep that from happening? And would Lauren seek to see justice done where Sheila is concerned or consider herself lucky that the maniac doesn't seem to remember that she exists?
Thanks for watching this videos. Please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.